guys welcome back to another youtube video and today we're making <clears throat> another horse carriage but it's a different type um if you haven't seen the other video i would suggest go watching it anyways in this video you'll need cardboard a horse scissors straws a hot glue gun and then things are in here um leather string hang on let me go again here we are, we got the leather and the string. And I think that's it. Could be wrong. Oh yes, and you'll also need a pen. Anyways, let's get started. So we're going to be making the wheels. You need four of these. So, um, get out a piece of cardboard. Okay, so now you're going to um, cut out a circle about the size of a glue stick lid and colour it in black. I forgot to mention you also need to got a hole in the middle big enough um to fit your straws in now you should have something that looks like this next you're going to cut down your straw to about this size this is how it's about as long as the horse much wider than the horse but sorry about the mess um, so yeah, and I would recommend putting a plastic straw inside of your paper straw. And then you're going to glue it in the loop, the thing, but only on one side. So like, I'll show you that in a second. <clears throat> now you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, so now... Okay, so now you need to cut out a rectangle about this big. Should be the same width as, well, similar width as the wheels. This is going to be the back wall. I measured this square out by getting on by getting one of my groomers here and just measuring it up about two shoulder width. And then I cut out another rectangle, which should be about a third of the last square. And you're going to create two of these. Two of both of these. So that you've got all of these, you need to stick the shorter ones onto the bottom here. Not like that, they need to be a slight angle. So like that, I'll show you once I've created them on. Now what you should have is something that looks a little bit more like this. It's going to stand like that. Now you're going to create a right angle. So it's going to be the seat and it needs to come up and across like that. So they can sit. Okay, so next you're going to want to cut a piece of cardboard that's um, long enough to fit like half of her legs in twice if that makes sense um so about about her leg width so yeah <laughs> i'll see you once i've cut that out and stuck it on <laughs> which is what you're going to do too now you should have something that looks a little bit like this and it's looking very good so now you're going to cut out another piece of cardboard that's going to go across from here to here. Okay, so here I've got that. I'm just going to glue it down. And I'm going to cut it down to size a little bit because it is a bit big. But yeah, so I'll see you once I've done that. Now, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. I know it looks a bit strange at the moment, but trust the process. <laughs> Anyways, now you're going to create the side. You could either make it with these angles or you can make it curved like that. I'm just going to make it with these angles. Um, and then if you want, you can do a little point at the top, which I might do. You're going to create two of those to go on each side, obviously. Except for one of them, you need to make you need to put a door in. You can put a door on both sides if you would like, but I'm not going to. Okay, now I'm going to glue this on. See you once it's done. Now this is what it should look like. Got a... Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. So it's a bit tough. 
what it looks like inside. Never look. It's so dark. Yeah. That's what it looks like inside. You can't really see it. But at the back, I would definitely advise you to do this too. Is I created a flap so I could have a look in there and film. No. No, you can add um, windows and stuff. So I'm not going to do that now. So yeah, now we're going to attach the wheels. So you will need to create a small square. And you're going to attach it to here. Don't glue it down though. Okay, now you should have something that looks a bit like this. But now... We're going to create a fairly thick board going across, attaching them. Okay, now you should have something that looks a little bit like this. So the reason you're doing this is because if you left it, God, it's all fixed. Okay, because if you left it um just there with those two, the wheels would hit the sides of the um thing, and um, it just wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to open the doors and get your characters in. So yeah. Anyways, now you're going to glue the wheels on. This is what it should look like. Woo woo. So I don't think you actually really needed to do that, but it just adds a bit of height to it as well. So it's off the ground a bit. Anyways. Now we're going to make the harness for the horse. Okay, so you're going to get the lever, make a strip, it's going to be thick though, and then you're going to fold it in, glue it, fold the other side over top of that, glue it down. And it needs to be able to be come to come around his neck or her neck and attach at the top. So yeah, I'll see you when I've done that, so you know what it looks like. You shouldn't have something that looks a little bit like this, like a scarf for the horse. I had to um, cross mine at the top just because of my, the, my, the, whole, the model of the horse. So yeah, next, next we're going to create the bit that goes around the body here, and it's going to connect here as well, but it's not going to be... Um, stuck together at the bottom, you need to get it off somehow, it's going to be tied with some string. So, I'm going to create another one of these, but before you fold it, you need to create a hole um, to um, get a piece of string to wrap around the bottom. I'll show you in a Okay, so a little change of scenery, I'm just up on my bed, there's my workstation. No mess that's what crafting looks like um anyways so i just wanted to show you for this waist bit here um if you've got say if you're using the same model then i would suggest if you're doing it like this cut off a little section which will glue across there and then fold the sides so it'll be more in the center of the stomach so yeah i'll show you Okay, so this is what I mean. So this bit will attach to here. And then you just fold these bits over like that. And then it's just the sides that straps and then that just sticks onto the like crossing there. Just not to say, don't forget to do the holes on the end so you can attach your string. Okay, so I forgot to... Um, film this part, but basically, you thread your string through the loop, bring it here, thread it through that loop, and tie it. So, yeah. And that's the harness nearly done. The next step is. To okay, so next, um, the next bit I don't have one of the items for. Basically, you add a little loop, attach the string around it. Um, then you attach it to the tail, I believe. Like, wrap it round the tail. And back up to the loop. And tie it loosely. I think. 
So yeah, I can't exactly do this next bit. But instead I'm gonna um I'm just gonna glue the string on, which you can do as well. I'm gonna glue it underneath the harness. So yeah, see you once I've done that. Okay, this is what it should look like. But now you're gonna get another piece of string and it's gonna attach to here, like permanently. And it's gonna wrap around the waist and then loosely tie up here. It's supposed to loosely do that unless you want it to permanently be on yours. This is what it should hopefully look like. Now you're going to glue two strips of cardboard to the stomach band. Or it might be the chest band but in my case I'm just going to attach it to the stomach band because I can't really learn. So yeah. And then you're going to attach it to your cart in a minute. This is what it should look like. <laughs> it looks a bit silly now, but it won't it won't soon, hopefully anyway. Now you're going to attach a board and um, connecting them with a hole in and then attach some string to it. Now you should just something that looks a little bit ooh like this. Okay, so next. You're going to attach the string to the bottom of your cart, so you need to attach it, oh, I'm just going to be throwing it to the other side, attach it right there. Okay, so now we're going to create the seat for the man who, whoops, drives the cart. Okay, so I've got my little helper for this, so basically you just want to make like a ladder that fits him here so you basically make a ladder like not ladder staircase that's to your character's shape so yeah see you once i finish mine <clears throat> sorry okay now you just color it all in black or whatever color and it's all finished I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Oh wait, um, to attach these, I just um, double layered some cardboard and um, stuck it on this wall and then I just attached these to that cardboard. So yeah. Anyway guys, anyways, guys I hope you guys enjoyed. See you all next time. Bye!